Now this one. This is Christmas Christmas in Notting Hill. Oh, God. <laughs> the one I hated. <laughs> one thing that nobody is talking about, and we will get into this in just a little bit, okay? Christmas in Notting Hill is all about football star Graham Savo. He has always been too busy for love. But when he comes home to Notting Hill for Christmas, he changes his mind after meeting the one person who has no idea who he is. This is starring Sarah Ramos and William Mosley. William Mosley is mostly known for the uh, the Chronicles of Narnia films. The last couple films I've seen him in, I have not enjoyed. I have not enjoyed his past couple of films. Now, I I have not seen um uh okay, let's see. I, I haven't seen The Courier, I haven't seen Land, but I've seen Artemis Fowl. He's a very small part in it, but that's a bad film. On the line. Very solid film for, for like the first hour and something. Very solid film. I have a major issue with that ending because it kind of deflates the whole film that you just watched because you're on the edge of the seat and then it just goes, nope, sorry. <laughs> this movie does something that I didn't really enjoy. Uh, so Sarah Ramos named George in this film is coming to basically celebrate uh, Christmas with her sister in, in London and her fiance is going to propose to her. She meets her her fiance, her sister's fiance's brother, played by William, named Graham, and they end up falling in love. Here's the issue, though: if they fall in love, if these two characters get engaged, if her sister and the brother get engaged, and these two fall in love, you see the issue. <laughs> The reviews I have seen have not talked about anything about that because I, I I don't think it clicked with anybody. I was watching this and I was texting you because I was watching it the night after. I'm like, this is nasty. Yep. This is gross. <laughs> it made me feel uneasy. The chemistry was there. If you would have made his brother into like a cousin or a friend or something, then it would have worked. Then it would have yeah. been fine because now they're going to be family. If, if all turns out well, they're going to be family. Just think about that. I don't know what was going on with this script. Not only is it a bad script, it's a bad script because no one's thinking about this ending. No one's thinking about it. The costume design is very well done. I like the costumes. It feels very like London-esque. It feels London-esque. They do a nice job of making you feel like you are in London because you have the double-decker buses. <laughs> you have the accents. You have Christmas in London. Now, I don't know what it's like in Christmas in London every single year because we are not from London. We are from America. We yeah. could have snow or it could be 60 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't know. It changes from year to year. Yeah. The chemistry is there between these two. I like William in this film. I like this guy a lot. I grew up with him in the Chronicles of Narnia. I want this dude to succeed. He's doing a good job in all of his roles. It's just the films have not been the best. Just the overall ending of this film ruins this movie for me. Because knowing what happens at the end of this film just completely deflates anything that happens in this film. Because there's very little issues with the actual proposal. Not only did the father not get to meet the fiance, not even what an hour before that, yeah. he he meets him and and says, "Hey, sir, I'd like to marry your daughter." And he says he just walked past him and patted him on the back. Well, that's not really saying, "Yeah, marry my daughter," because I know you like family. <laughs> and and saying that, saying, "Sure, bud, go for it." But yeah. I know a lot of people are 
hating this film, and I, I can see why. But I'm not going to give this a half star or a one star just because I did feel the chemistry. I liked his character. I liked her character. I liked the chemistry. I liked the overall setting. I I like the costumes, but the ending and the story itself is boring and it's bad. So what did you think about Christmas in Notting Hill? This one I almost couldn't finish. I mean, I almost couldn't. Um, I was so tempted to turn it off about halfway through. I was like, I don't know if I'm going to make it through this. Because it just, there was nothing going for it. It didn't feel Christmassy whatsoever. It felt like this movie should have been set in the spring or summer. Mm -hmm. Because there just was nothing Christmas about it. I mean... And some of the scenes just felt so random, like when they went to that show that you talked about mm, in the yeah. movie. Um, you know, it I just felt, I'm like, still. I don't know. It, it's like, it, it was so random. Like, I didn't understand why that was thrown in. I mean, we're, we're, we're watching this for a Christmas time film movie mm -hmm. about two people falling in love and we get little to no decoration for it the cinematography which makes the cinematography for me very bleak and bland because it's not bright and cheery i mean the decorations in the sister's apartment it looks so cheap the lights just hanging down off the wall i mean it it felt like they didn't take any time they didn't take put any effort into decorating this movie to make it feel like a christmas movie um you know yes the chemistry was there I liked it being set in London, but that's it. That was all that it had going for it. And this, it just wasn't enough. I mean, if you would have made this film, ripped it out of the Christmas ca category, stuck it in spring or summer, kept it as a soccer film and, you know, reworked the script a little bit, mm -hmm. you could have had a lot better film. It, it it would have been brighter. It, it could have just been something more worth rewatching and giving a higher score for. But there just isn't anything here. I mean, I, I I was bored. It didn't feel like a Christmas movie. It just felt like something that they just kind of rushed through and threw in to have the forty or whatever mm -hmm. films this year for Christmas. And. and, and hmm. And one, one thing that neither of us have brought up is this guy's injured. He's injured. Yeah. He got injured on the soccer field. We see very little of his recovery. We see very little mm -hmm. of him doing any rehab, but he can still walk around. He can still take her to the field and try and block a, a kick. He can still do tricks with a soccer ball. I'm sorry. If you have that sort of, of an injury, you got to be on some crutches. You have to be do, yeah. doing some re rehab, constant rehab, because he's not re – he has no rehab. And one scene in this film, he goes back for a checkup after doing no rehab, nothing, and, he, and his doctor says, hey, you might be out for months, eight to nine months, and – that's pretty much on him because he's not doing any rehab whatsoever, at least with like a taking a shot at love. We got a little bit of that rehab. We got yeah. that with something like um, a fourth, a fourth down in love, fourth down in love. That was a film mostly about him. Yes. He's rehabbing a little bit, but he's mostly coaching the football team. He's coaching mm -hmm. the football team, but this film was a massive disappointment this could have been so good. This had a lot going for it, but did, did my big issue really b bother you all all that much with the ending? Uh, it definitely. Uh, I was definitely thinking about that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that was that was definitely coming to me. Um, I was surprised they they went that route with it. Um, but I think. My problem was I was so took out of the movie just by how boring and dull it was mm -hmm. that I just stopped really caring, stopped thinking about it because 
like I said, I was, I, very, I was very close to just shutting it off altogether anyways. Um, but yeah, I definitely was like, eh, that, that's, I'm surprised they're, they're doing that. <laughs> but, um, you know, it, I think you even brought that up with me and I even mentioned something about it. Yeah. Yeah. I even said something to her about it and everything. So it, it definitely was the wrong choice to do. I think mm -hmm. not the right route to go. Um, one thing also I had an issue with was, in a way was I felt the mom was sort of I didn't like her being the one selling all the merchandise yeah. of her son. I felt like that was almost like she was extorting her son that of her son being this superstar. And I didn't like that thing. I was like, why is she out here at a whatever it was, little town thing selling mm -hmm. her son's selling her son merchandise stuff. Hi. And and one one thing I do want want to add is it's it's not going to to him. He he has a non profit, so at least it's not go going to him. It's going to his non profit. So I yeah. will give them that because they could have said, "Come and buy this autograph." Mm -hmm. <laughs> but in, instead, she she did say. This is going towards his nonprofit, and I I like that that aspect of that. But looking back, it should have been somebody else because it could have been his brother. <laughs> it could have been his brother because it would have made a little more sense. Yeah, I mean, I could have even handled him being the one doing it because that they just made it seem like he wouldn't no point no part of it. Yeah, and because you know she brought him up to meet that fan, mm -hmm. and he just did not have any interest whatsoever and i thought the it, it bothered me with the fans reaction because you're you're seeing your huge celebrity crush or you know somebody you love and you're just like she showed no emotion toward it and i was just like you're seeing a celebrity like it's your favorite soccer player and you're just yeah. no emotion whatsoever deadpan heart pretty much and i'm just like that bothered me and I mean, this this movie as a whole just bothered me. I ended up giving it a, a one out of five. I couldn't, I, I just couldn't go any higher. I mean, there's for a movie I almost was ready to shut off. I couldn't go no higher. I I went with a two, and I think that's generous. Mm. I I I think a two is generous. 